Every day we do up the chatting, we do up the calling, yeah. Every day we do up the calling, we do up the chatting, we do up the calling, yeah. Every day we do up the calling, every day we do up the calling. Every day we do up the calling, it's different, it's different. Songs of the Sata, Sata we lady, poor poor. Every day we do up the calling, we do up the chatting, we do up the calling, girl. Every day we do up the calling, we do up the chatting, we do up the calling, girl. Baby girl, I miss your body. Your body, your body. Baby girl, I miss your body. Your body, your body. I'm missing your love, girl. I'm wanting your love, girl. I'm needing your love, girl. For your love, girl, I go make a phone call. For your love, girl, I go make a video call. For your love, girl, girl, me na la call. For your love, girl, girl, I'm waiting. I'm in love with you, never mistake. I'm in love with you, never surprise. I'm in love with you for a reason. You the reason. Every day we do up the calling, we do up the chatting, we do up the calling, girl. Every day we do up the calling, we do up the chatting, we do up the calling, girl. Baby girl, I miss your body. Your body, your body. Baby girl, I miss your body. Your body, your body. Your body, 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 your booty, 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 that a thing I man a miss, yeah No if you know, that a thing, man that I miss from you She, remember time, we used to chill together, we used to spend together We used to chill together, we used to spend together I miss it, I miss it, the liquor and the weed We used to chill for a year, girl I miss it Malo mi che che, girl I miss that day Malo mi che che Every day we do up the calling, we do up the chatting, we do up the calling, girl Every day we do up the calling, we do up the chatting, we do up the calling, girl Baby girl I miss your body Your body, your body Baby girl I miss your body Your body, your body In our style, we got them down. Bad man, zero thing, yeah, yo. Yeah. Of General Static featuring Urban the Shatter. The title of the song is Missing Body and the B.O.B. Management. The song was released two weeks ago and it is officially premiering on Lulua TV. These are the kind of songs that you will want to know about West Nile out there. We are growing steadily but not like the other steady progress. We are surely moving to better things in the region. This is the Star Talk and I am your host Dagi Nated pulling it down for you in this edition and we are proudly sponsored by Flashlight Pictures for all the videography services that you need in the city of Arua and we are partnering with Spartan Blazers, Robbie Designs, True Friends in case you want to support West Nile music. True Friends is where you can purchase them for only as low as 1,000 ceilings. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we have an interesting guest in the region, one that I so much have always yearned to meet since I was toddling in the days of primary school. And it's an interesting one that we have, none other than Chanero Leila. Now, when I talk of Chanero Leila, the 2010 bonds who are now using social media or phones may not understand who she is but she is here to tell us more but for us who grew up in the streets of Arua in the early 2000s Chandelo doesn't need an introduction why because she was a queen then and whether she is still a queen now is what we are going to find out in a few minutes but as we get this show rolling let's get it straight with one song that introduced the universe to Chanero Leila. So many people still remember this song and so many people still don't know this song. But the title of the song is Ngbeleke. And we'll get you back with none other than Chanero Leila after Ngbeleke.
once again to the Star Talk. And as I told you earlier on, we are hosting a legend in the West Nile music industry, none other than Chanero Leila. You are so much welcome to Lulua TV. Thank you. I'm so much humbled to have you here for the very first time. You know, I have lived for 20 plus years, but it is my first time to, to see Chanero. I only used to talk of Ch no, Chanero Leila on the radio stations and all that stuff. So, Thank you. Uh, you know, uh, my name is um, Chandir Leila. Um, I think the mother of music in West Nile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm very rare. So I think you're lucky to get me today. <laughs> 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 on Lulua TV, we are so lucky to be running this Star Talk. And uh, you said you are very rare. How rare are you? Because if I'm to ask my my parents now, mm. Chandrulela will still be ringing in their heads. Yeah. So what do you mean by being rare? Is it like, that you're not in, on the streets? Yeah. You'll never find me on the streets. You'll mm. never find me in it. Um, this woman who is always indoors. Mm -hmm. As much I run business, mm -hmm. but I'm so much indoors. I deal on phones, but that is me. You might, you might probably say you are, you are busy, you're indoors, but I can well assure you that the streets of social media are not really privacy for you. You are too public on social media. But we'll get, that, we'll get to the social media things right. later. Now, I want to just understand, hmm. why are you off the scenes musically? All right, thank you. Uh, by then... I used to be open. I mean, I, I used to be uh, like after every four or five months, I release a song. Mm -hmm. But then I had no kids. Mm -hmm. I was this young girl. Mm -hmm. I had no much stress. But now I'm a mother. Mm -hmm. I have children. I have to take good care of them. And on the other side, I have to also manage my business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. So be, be, being, being a mother mm -hmm. and then. Uh, doing music mm. so can i say that you are basically doing ma you are you are basically doing music before being a mother as a result of uh, something to pass time or it was the youthful stage you know because everyone is, when you're a youth everyone loves to do something and probably to you it was music because uh, you know by then i was young mm -hmm. no stress Mm -hmm. I loved music, fine. Mm -hmm. I loved music. But the music is my passion. Mm -hmm. I love music so much. But uh, when I had, I started giving back to my kids. Mm -hmm. There's this love I have for my children. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to let them being there like missing mom each and every time. So, I I I came to realize that I've taken most of my time. You know, because for music you need to give time. Mm -hmm. In case you want to come with something, with a, a, a very good message, a quality music, something. I don't want to come just because I'm Chandu Lila. I have to be there everywhere. Mm -hmm. and I just sing something like, oh, but, you know, but, but you'll, start judge, you'll start judging me, yeah, you know. Yeah. So now, this is what's Chandu singing, you know. So and music needs time. You get, uh, you, as in, you can sit in a community. And then get some message and say, okay, if I sing this, it's going to touch somebody, you know. You need to give time for that. You don't have to sing just to make people happy. You have to sing. That, that's why, uh, you remember something, you, you were in primary, right? Yeah, I was yeah. in primary. So you were in primary. If you can still recall Engbeleke, that means it was a very strong message. Mm. For your information, if they play Engbeleke right now, you'll see the audience. They'll just start jumping, you know, because <laughs> I gave my my soul, my heart, my brain to concentrate and write a message, you know. Yeah. So mu music is all about giving your time to it and you write a message. Mm. Now, me being a mother, I will be, now the baby will be, mommy, 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 then I'll come, mommy, so I'll not But we have, we have seen artists who are married right now. Mm. Very many artists in mm. West Nile yes. are married. They have families and they are committed to their families but they're still in the scene they're still in the industry right. so what is the difference between you and artists it may not even be in west you can give me example okay you can give me uh, example let me let, let, let me see uh brother spoken has kids mm -hmm. that he takes care of yeah which female artists can i think of in a who has kids unfortunately there are very few female artists but you you personally do know that we have artists mm -hmm. in the in the country yes. that have kids and yeah. they are always 
on shows, yeah. they are still relevant. The chameleons, the Bobby Wines, Bebe Cools, and all that stuff. So what is the difference between those artists and Chandiru Leila? Thank you. You know, the, the artists you've been mentioning, these are female, art, female I mean male artists, right? Mm -hmm. As in me being a female artist, I'm a mother. Mm. I need all that hundred percent for my kids. Okay. You know, mm. and on the other side, I have to run my business, right? Mm. So the artists you've been mentioning, these are male. Mm. Eh? The male guys, for no, for they don't have because I have to breastfeed my baby. Mm. I have to pamper them. I have to, you know, that they're doing well. Because me, I'm not that type of mother who say I'm done. This baby now made here is the work. No, I'll not do that. But uh, someone will add you, someone like me, mm. will possibly add you with you that uh, the change in the music, the trend, uh, the messages, and then the style of music is mm. one thing that probably has affected you as Chandiru Leila, mm. has, has affected your comeback in the music industry. Mm. Because now we are looking at a uh, music trend which is more or less everything has changed, the production has changed, uh, the lyrical content has changed, video productions have changed, mm. and then you know it is now survival for the for the fittest but back then you were i think the only female artist in the region but now we have different female artists like queen g um gs swaga who mm. are coming with different kind of things so mm. don't you think that the change in music has also affected you as you come back as an individual no i don't think because um uh, let me tell you something uh music is something from your blood mm. you know as much as you're saying as the trend has changed, right? Mm. It can't affect me because I'm okay, fine, here, I'm supposed to not be like this. Here, fine, I'm supposed to rap. By the way, <laughs> I can rap for your information. You're, you're <laughs> free, you're free to do that. The, the, yeah. the, the set I can, is yours. Yeah, I can all fall on those whatever, you know, but there's this time in life you have to sit as you, mm. you know, and sit and okay and talk to yourself Okay, the, this time I sat as me as Chandir Leila, and then I was on my mirror, Leila. Yeah, they know as they know you as a celebrity and a good artist, you know. But how much are you gaining? Cause that was having my doll babies, eh? Cause now I need to invest enough in them, and then the money was not enough, you know. I can come here on camera, on social media, or in radio, sing. I, fine but are my kids happy are they well you know so i sat and i was like leila west nile music yes you invest because you have to pay audio video you sponsor everything fine at the end of the day your fans are happy but you're suffering inside your house you can't even afford a kilo of sugar you know so i sat i said leila stop pretending to yourself you have to make your kids happy, your family happy. So I had to start the little money. I'm not all that. I don't have money, but the small I have, I am like Leila. You have to plan it well. Invest. Do some investments in building, investments in small, small business. I, I always, I don't know how to put this. I always want to see my family happy first, then the fans, as much as my fans. Yeah, because... When I started thinking about fans and my children, then I was like, Leila, So um, I started investing in buildings, business, small, small things. Then I was like, Leila, when you know now your family is okay here, you can now spend on music. But we spend a lot in music. Do you know that? Did you know that? I, I know you obviously spend a lot in uh, in in music industry yeah. you obviously say that uh, you don't have money mm. but word on the street is that you're one of the richest female artists or females we have in the region you even have a whole street named in your name how will the poor man have a street named in your name let me tell you one thing money is never enough don't mm -hmm. let your money there in your account or your investment lie to you that you're rich. Mm -hmm. You should be money hungry every morning. So basically, you're always money hungry. That is me. How far has that led you? <laughs> ah, thank you for that question. Uh, uh, you know, 
I've, I've, I've told that I've, I'm this type of a mother who doesn't want to see her kids suffering or begging on the streets. Mm -hmm. So I'm very fine wherever I am. Mm -hmm. uh, when I go to Kampala, I sleep in my own house. Mm -hmm. A landlord would never knock me, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, when I come to Arua, mm -hmm. I'm in my own mansion, mm -hmm. you know. So I'm so happy that uh, I do me myself. I can make sure everything I want in life, I afford it for myself. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That so is that me. is how far your hunger for money has gotten. Yeah. Gotten. Beautiful one there. That is Chandiru Leila there for you explaining to us her hunger for money. If you're not hungry for money, then I don't know, probably you're sent that is receiving dollars in form of money in this industry but well that is Chandiru Leila for you and ladies and gentlemen we are still here with Chandiru Leila we haven't basically gotten the interview done there are so many questions that so many of you want to ask about Chandiru Leila and we have those questions right now we are going to digest more we are going to strip her more we are going to get the start talk hotter than it has ever been but before that here is just a commercial break with one of Chandiru's songs featuring none other than Atiku See you in a few.
Hello out there. Today I'm going to show you how to download music from True Friends official website. First open your browser and search for the site truefriends.net. Once the site loads, you can then search for your favorite artist or song. For example, I want to listen to the song Meditate done by Isagad. I'll write the name of the song and in a few seconds it loads. I can then listen to the preview or go straight and add to cart. Thereafter, the system will request me to enter my email address. This is important because the system will then send me a purchase receipt. I can also enter my first name if I want to. I'll enter the second name too. After which, the system will request me to enter my mobile money number. In a few seconds, my network will send me an SMS with the verification code which I'm required to enter correctly. And once I enter the correct code sent to my phone via SMS, the system will redirect me to the next panel. Then my network will send me a push notification message and will require me to enter my mobile money pin from my phone. Once I enter my PIN correctly, in a few seconds, the system will redirect me to the final panel where I can then tap to download the song. All these are done in a few seconds. It's very easy, safe and secure. Welcome in you back once again for the Star Talk and I am still your host Daginated and remember like I said we are sponsored by Flashlight Pictures and we are in partnership with Spartan Blazers. By the way Spartan Blazers has advanced, he now has sneakers, cool ones if you will ask me. I have tried and tested his sneakers and they are dope. They go for as low as 25,000 shillings, value for money if you ask me about his product plus the range besides pattern blazers we are also partnering with Roby designs for all the female outfits in this city there is no other person who makes it better than dadanta robina you can always reach her on the numbers that are running on your screen for well photography is also there for your photography services for the best birthday shoots wedding introductions and whatever party that you want it to be have or you want to have a memory of a party that you are shooting for well photography is the place and plus light pictures is there for all the videography services you know the best qualities in Arua come from none other than plus light pictures and we are still catching up with Chandiro Leila and before the break or before this segment we were basically understanding where Chandiro Leila has been what she has been up to and now we are getting to the real discussion Leila, yes, please. first question that I will ask in this question is why are so many young artists obsessed with you? I don't know. As in female or male? Young. Let's, let's leave it male because when we talk of obsessions, mm. basically it's the opposite, opposite sex. But when, uh, why I'm asking that is we have seen artists who have come out, artists have written songs about you, artists have claimed to be in a relationship with you. And we basically had an artist who confessed that you are his wife. So why are they, these new artists so much on your case? Thank you. Uh, as an upcoming artist? Upcoming, been there. Basically, let's talk of the artists. OK, uh, I, I can't know their mind, mm -hmm. you know, mm. uh, but when somebody comes up and is obsessed about you, that means there is that, that particular thing he has got interest or her in you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, as I've been told, I've told you before, uh, I'm this woman who is humble mm -hmm. and busy woman, mm -hmm. always. Mm -hmm. So, I can't tell you why exactly they are ob uh, obsessed about me. I can't know it. But will it, will it be the same thing with you? Because, you know, they, they always say that uh, there is no smoke without fire. Mm. So I cannot come and say I love Chandiru Leila when there's nothing going on. Can you go to the point? That is the point, basically. Because, <laughs> you know, we, we, we basically do a lot of social media and uh, our content basically comes from social media. We check on the social media activities mm. and we see so many artists that confess love about Chandu Leila. 
So I think that question is kind of like hard for you to answer. But now, I'm sure you've gotten advances from men, mm. artists. How do you how do you deal with those artists? At one point, you were bitter on social media mm. over a certain artist mm. or celebrity in a, in the region, mm. and different other artists came on. To others came to support you, while others came to support the the opponent. So how do you deal with such things? Uh, of recently, I think there have been two artists who sang for me. Mm -hmm. uh, as in, I can start with this private, he's called Pro Producer Fai. Mm -hmm. But the Producer Fai is my great friend Okay. at Malcolm. Mm -hmm. Fai is my great friend. Uh, Fai was like, uh, Tanjiri, you know what? There is this trending on social media, you love with tips on care. Mm -hmm. And everyone is following you guys. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to use this opportunity. Mm -hmm to hit the media, you know, mm -hmm. the radio station, whatever. Mm -hmm. So by the time he came to me, he had already produced the song, you know, okay. yeah. So, uh, but the, the thing stressed me a little bit. I was too <laughs> why, why stressed. Would, why, why, would it be, why would it stress you if it was just, uh, let me say, trying to get popularity using he, your name? Why would it stress you? Yeah, it stressed me because when, by the time he came to me, the song mm -hmm. was already on air. Oh. Yeah, and on the other side, Tipson was like telling, "What is this? You know, oh, okay. that was my worst night." Let's let's <laughs> talk about Tipson because when we posted him a few a few weeks back on <laughs> the Star Talk, he did confess that you were his wife. Are you Tipson's wife? Obviously, yeah, I am. How 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 long has it been? Because the streets know you as someone who can't basically have a manner. That's, those are the streets. Those are not my words. Mm. Those are words on the street. As top shutters, you people usually call yourself people who can't basically settle with one man. So how? Excuse me for information. Uh -huh. That's not. <laughs> 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 it's not like we can't settle with one man. Okay. Uh, as an on the other side, me with Tipson, it has been long. Mm. Uh, it's over two years. Uh, I've been dating with Tipson. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Tipson is one great producer. Mm. He does music, produces him. So, uh, there is this time he asked me, uh, honey, I also want to sing, you know. Mm. Then I was like, yeah, darling, you can't, because you have the vo you're a vocalist, you're a good singer. Mm. You can do it, then it's okay, fine. I can do one song for fun. Mm. Then, boom. How come was all So, over. basically, what you're trying to tell us is you are the inspiration behind Tipson. Tipson K is all along in his life he has been a producer, you know. Mm -hmm. And by then when people didn't know that we are dating, mm -hmm. for for information, it's just this few months that people knew about me and him, but it has been long time story, okay. me and him. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So with K I can't hide mm -hmm. we're married. So the rest are just Crash. stories. Not even stories, but but trust. Okay, let's let's. You're married to Tipson King K. Yeah. But then uh, another word on the street mm -hmm. is also your involvement with Queen G. Because <laughs> we have seen statuses, we have seen posts about mm. how close you people are. Yeah. And sometimes when people get closer beyond, too close beyond what eyes can see. It goes to the mind and we start thinking, okay, maybe it's, a, it's another thing. Mm. And Lehman can't deny mm. to think maybe it's again another involvement. So how involved are you with Kunji? Oh, thank you. You know, um, it's everyone with his own thinking, you know? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but Kunji is a muddy. Mm. And my uncles are Madis too. Mm. So I take Quinji as my sister. But there are very many Madis you could take as sisters. That Why is specifically fine. Quinji? <laughs> it is it's just because she's doing the same work with me, like she's an artist. Mm -hmm. I'm a musician too. Mm. So uh mm. uh we, we we are this so much late and attached together. We stay together each time we are together, you know. There's this strong attachment between me and her. We stay together. So that is the kind of attachment we want to understand. To what extent does it go? Because we, it's not news to us in the, in the city of West Nile or Arua here mm. that there is a lot of homosexual activities going on, if I may just pull out the thing here. Mm. So 
you get to realize when celebrities try to get closer to each other, mm. the mindset on the local man goes, ah, those ones are pushing out, mm. yeah, having each other. And it is not the it's not news or it's not privacy that you and Kunji love to call yourself baby, wife, <laughs> what, all that stuff. So all those things come into context to mm. one to a local understanding. Yeah. What does the local man think of it? So that is what we want to understand basically. Oh thank you. Uh, it, you know, uh, with this social media life, mm. the word baby, honey, darling is not all this new. You can call your sister baby, you can call your sister honey, you know, any kind really? of... Really? Yeah! That is me. <laughs> By the way, I used to call That's my late mom honey. No, for moms, it's, it's understandable. And the your how would you call your mom baby? I can. You I, know? I can. Yeah. I can. Oh, baby mom, what's up? You know, yeah. that kind of thing. So we're living that type of life, not this local one. Please, okay. guys, you have to understand, you know, mm -hmm. we are living this life whereby we are dot com, mm -hmm. live other, the other, the other village life. Mm -hmm. We are brought up in, in the city. We live this other life. I can say, mom, what a fucking food have you cooked today? And then that <laughs> one said, this one has abused the mother's food fucking, you know. Uh -huh. So uh, uh, I, I, Queen G is my great friend. Besides, guys, you're not married. I'm married. You no, know, not everyone knows. Okay, okay. You know, <laughs> they should know for today. Ago, yeah. Guys, you, you should know that I'm married to mm. Dipson K. That is my husband. Every night he's beside here. So you, uh, you, you can't say that again, I'm a lesbian. Lesbians don't get married, <laughs> you know. They but they do their thing in secret. No yeah, way, unless, no Until way. when it is leaked out. No way. First of all, there's no lesbian or gay person who will public in this city. They do. Who they will do. publicly come and tell you I'm gay or what. First of all, the country, the constitution itself makes it illegal. And then secondly, the society around doesn't appreciate it. So unless it is leaked, there's something that with is me. when someone comes. That up. is, there's something with me. Mm. If I'm a thief, if I'm a prostitute, if I'm a lesbian, uh, that is me, Leila Chandiru. I'll always come out and tell public, please, guys, you know what? I'm a, I'm a prostitute, I'm a very good slut, and at this price, you know? Okay. I am always very frank about myself. And mm -hmm. um, if I <laughs> queen G's issue here, you know, I can't be a lesbian, and on the other side, I'm married too, you know? So, uh, Queen G is just my great friend. We love each other so, so much. We love each other. To that extent, whereby even we can take a selfie, kiss each other, and then post. Then we were like, let's give like them basical, work. Basical, no, basical, we will be like. Kiss each other. Yeah. Like, no, no, just a peck. Like, okay. Queen G, I'll be like, <laughs> Queen G, let's give them words. So, to it's, talk. All about, it's all about making news and stuff. That is it. So, one person will think, isn't that a way in which you're trying to come back to the industry? No, no. Or it's a way in which you're trying to keep Quinji relevant. No, in the no, industry. it is my lifestyle. That's that is your lifestyle. my lifestyle. That is how I live it. Quinji is not like coming back. She's doing well. And your boyfriend probably is okay with all those things. He is, cause he knows when Quinji is my best. At times it will be like, baby, mm. do you know that people think that it is true? But I say no, honey. But you know, we're just having fun. Okay. Yeah. Basically, you have yourself a very good man because if it were me, honestly, I wouldn't allow my wife or girlfriend to kiss a fellow guy. And in that's public, why, yeah, and most especially when you're in a public spectrum, in a city where news is what everyone wants to. And that's get why, right now. and that's why I always, I, that's how I always call him one in a million. He's too special. <laughs> Tips on Ko, too special, <laughs> darling. I love I, you so much. Remember, we are recording this. Maybe in the next one or two years, we'll come back to ask how far with the relationship. Yeah. Given that it's a celebrity kind of things, but mm. we'll leave that to that. Mm. Now, let's as we wind up the show. Let's let's. I want to know something. Mm. How do you find the music industry now compared to the past when you were hitting when you're on top of the scenes? All right, thank you. Compare and contrast. Yeah. Now those days, uh, we we were very few mm. in the industry and. Guys used to look for us by the, the, the presenters, eh? They could call, hi, Leila, what's up? Where's the new song? You know, we need new song from you. But uh, things have changed a little bit. Mm. You have to go past, no? Give your song and, you know, you promote it. There is that pressure. Guys yeah. are going these days. Mm. Yeah, there's that pressure they're having. I don't feel bad for them. Others, for us, <laughs> yeah, there's this pressure. Um, 
because one time somebody asked me like was Tanya Leela are you singing oh you're not singing I was like my dear I'm still there's a, this there's a way I take my things the other <laughs> level mm -hmm. you just sing and then you take the radio it will be there okay yeah so now if you're to look at the camera and then I'm asking you this question are you still an artist or you're no longer an artist of course I am because it's in my blood so what projects are you working on currently? Um, currently, um, I have two projects. Mm -hmm. One I did with Tips on K. It's called Omkwano. Where is it? I basically can't wait. <laughs> it's still in the studio. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, done by Josman Perfection. And then uh, the other one is called Community Woro Maza. Community war or mother, that means the entire community is rotten mm -hmm. in local language. Mm. Why will you attack the community like that My dear, as a top shutter? As top shutter, mm. there is, and I don't want to give raw things. You'll be <laughs> listening to the song yourself, <laughs> so we can't just we, we should all just wait and listen. You to the should song. wait for and it after the song. I don't you know, go, Chandir, shall, the Chandir yeah. always, always comes with something with a message, mm. it's a message, yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, so now let's get the show done. What are your final words for one, uh, an artist that will want to start doing music like you did before? And then secondly, for your fans out there, what final words will you have for them? Thank you. Uh, for the upcoming artists, please, stick to your heart. Let your heart tell you what to do. Don't go around and ask, oh, you know, I want to sing, I want to do this, can you advise me? Never do that because others will feel bad and shut you down. Follow your heart. Do what you want. Express your heart. You'll find your, yourself to the other level. Uh, and then for my fans, obviously, I want to thank you guys because really, who is Chandir without you guys? You know, you brought me to this, how do I call it? industry from the dust, from the dust. you know <laughs> you guys brought me from dust to the top i am today wherever i am just because of you alan saru i would find in malese i would find mongolese uh metrovini imi bavaku i'll always do my best akase sura me minongo fialo take suku the mavu to zaro our family alem yambamba uh, the four minutes and then let's say uh, the four a minute Lulua TV let's say thank you so much ladies and gentlemen for watching us again this Saturday on the Star Talk. Remember we have been sponsored by Flashlight Pictures in partnership with Spartan Blazers, Robbie Designs and Poel Photography and True Friends for all the services that you need as regards photo, video, songs, musically for any artists out there. If you want to get money out of music, true friends is that brand that you will need to sustain you and this has been oh the start God. up with your host Daginated on Twitter Dagine at Twitter no on Twitter at Daginated 31 Lulua TV on YouTube Facebook Lulua TV Twitter at Lulua TV 90 until we meet again forever see you